Hey YouTube, uh, Turf Tech here, and I've got Josh with me in the garage. He's on the camera. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a couple years. Hopefully our, our video quality is improving. We're going to start reviewing tools and doing stuff in the garage again. Um, we've just been too busy, and, and that's that's going to stop. Today I want to review the Harbor Freight uh, Central Forge six-inch bench vise. Okay, first off, I am not a tool snob. Okay, I have lots of tools from Harbor Freight that I love. I've reviewed them. Um, and I, I try and be fair. With that said, this is not a tool I would buy again. Let me tell you about my experience. Okay, uh, bought one of these. Our first real use. We're straightening out a, a mounting bracket for a snowmobile, a snowmobile for a snowplow on a four wheeler. Uh, we put it in. We heated the piece up real nice. Went to put tension on, and this whole back side of the jaw just completely broke off. Okay, you can see the pictures, and the whole thing is hollow. It is hollow as could be. That the, the casting was paper thin on this inside. I, I'm amazed it made it home without falling off. So I took it back to Harbor Freight Tools. It's still under warranty, and I got another one. Okay, on that vise, uh, there are two bolts that are supposed to drop down into these holes. Okay, and they have uh, fastener levers on them. Uh, you can see one here, and. Uh, you're supposed to be able to tighten those down, those little clamps down, and then it creates enough friction between the top plate and the bottom plate that the, that the whole vise won't swivel when you torque on it. I could not get it to stop swiveling. I torqued those until they stretched and until they stripped, and it would still swivel. The, the mating surfaces were just too smooth. So I took that back and I got this one, had the exact same problem. I want to show you one thing on their website, and then I'm going to show you how to fix this. Okay. Uh, what I want to show you on their website, this is their item number 61926. You'll notice it has a five star rating. It's their six inch uh, bench vise. It has one review. Okay, let me go back. Give me just a little bit of space here, Josh. Let me go back and show you something different. Okay, real fast. This right here is also their six inch bench vise. Okay, uh, this is item 67040, has a two star rating and 55 reviews. These are the same tool. Okay, these are the exact same thing, one that just has a darker picture. If you buy this thinking it's a five star piece of equipment, a five star tool, uh, you're getting cheated. This is a two star bench vise. Okay, don't, don't be fooled. Now, if you have that problem and you have access to a MIG welder, you've probably been told you can't weld stuff like this with a MIG welder. Uh, I have done it many times and I, I've never had a problem. Let me show you what I did. I got the, the vise set up at the angle I wanted and then I did a little spot weld here and one on the other side and then I turned the whole thing, I took it off and I turned it upside down. I took a torch and heated the piece Okay, that, that's kind of one of the secrets there. If you heat the piece up, it won't crack. So I, I heated the piece up, and then I went ahead and I, I, I just welded it with my MIG welder, with my Eastwood. And the, the whole thing has worked fine since then. No, it doesn't swivel. You, you mount it on, and it is what it is, but it does work. So that's my review. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.